a message online, very polite message, and I appreciate the person actually left a very good message online. Saying, uh, Apostle, I, I love your ministry, I listen a lot, but I, I, I want to disagree with you because um, hell um, um, has fire. Because I said, hell is not a place of fire. And I responded to him, it's online, you can find the video, it's online. I responded to him according. I, I personally typed it, not admin, I typed it myself. I said, Apostle did not say that. Apostle is not wrong. On the video, we put biblical verses there to show you. So, the, the brother, brother Jamil, I won't forget his name. God bless you, Jamil. Very polite message. I told him, my last message on that response was, if you have more biblical evidence and references, send them to me. Now, the brother used um, the story of Lazarus and the rich man as a practical example that hell is with fire. Let's read it together. Because of time, Luke 16, verse 1. It says, and From verse 19, I beg your pardon. It says, And a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fed... It was, a certain rich man, which was clothed in purple and fine linen, and fed sumptuously every day. There was a certain rich man. Now, verse 20 says, And there was a certain beggar named who? Lazarus. Which was what? Laid, Laid at the gates gate of this rich man, full of what? Souls. Souls. Verse 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Verse 22, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's what? Bosom. bosom. And the rich man also died and was what? Buried. So, when you die without Jesus, you are buried. Hmm. When you die with Jesus, you are carried. You see that? When he, that's another revelation there. He says, now a certain beggar died and the angels of the Lord carried him. Put him in the bosom of Abraham. But, a rich man, the rich man died at the same time, he was buried. See, one was carried, one was buried. May you not be buried. Amen. May you be carried. Amen. You will not be buried. Amen. You'll be carried. Amen. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels of the Lord into Abraham's what? Bosom. Bosom. And what happened to the rich man? The rich man. And the rich man died. also what? Died. And was what? Buried. He was what? Buried. And in a hell, he lifted up. In hell verse 23 of Luke 16, he lift up his eyes, being in torment, please hear this, this is the revelation now, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his what? Bosom. In his bosom. Verse 24, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and said, and send Lazarus, and send Lazarus, to do what? That he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. I am tormented in this flame. And what was Abraham's response? But Abraham said, Verse 25, Son, Sir, remember that thou in thy lifetime, remember that thou in your lifetime, receivest thy good things, you received everything good in life, and likewise, and likewise, Lazarus, Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, but now he's comforted, and thou art tormented, thou art tormented. Now, Let's go back to verse 24. Now, the brother's challenge was that Luke chapter 16, verse 24 says, And they cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy. Send Lazarus to dip his hand in water and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. It didn't say in hell fire. It didn't say I'm tormented in fire. Sorry. Flame is not fire. Fire is not flame. Now, this is where, when you read the Bible, please hear this part. When you read the Bible, don't read it literally. You know, please, everyone listen to me. You're a minister, you're a pastor, you're a preacher. This is one thing I'm learning every day. With scripture, don't pick a verse and forget the context. When it comes to scripture, do not pick a verse and forget the context. So a lot of people are preaching out of the context for the given verse. So people preach the gospel based on a verse, but misinterpret the whole context. What am I trying to say to you? Prior to Luke chapter 16, if you look at um, Luke chapter 15, Jesus from verse 1, Luke 15 from verse 1 to 10, talked about the parable of the sheep. Sir. The parable of the lost sheep. Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 7, I beg your pardon. Luke chapter, now listen to me. Please hear this. 
you know, when I saw the boys, the, 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 the man's, um, gentleman's response online, I actually enjoyed it because it was very polite and I responded. And I said, Lord, because I, I want to learn. I told him, please, if you have more Bible reference, send it to I, I, I'm not above learning. I, I, I learn, I study. But when I started reading, the Lord started opening my eyes. The Lord said, go back before 16. Go back before 16, 19. I went back to 15, verse 1. Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 7. Go and check. It's about the parable of the lost sheep. Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 7. Then, the same Luke chapter 15, from verse 8 to 10, is the parable of the lost coin. Then the same Luke chapter 15, but from verse 11, all the way to 32, is the parable of the lost son. So, all this time, Jesus was speaking in what? Parables. He was illustrating that in hell is a place where you will test for life. Look, listen, please. When you read Bible, don't read Bible literally. Jesus' response gave it away that is an illustration. God he cried and said, And he cried and said, Father Abraham, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And send Lazarus. Send Lazarus. That he may dip the tip of his finger in water. Can I have a glass of water quickly? Illustration. Jesus was speaking a parable all through chapter 15 and chapter 16. You don't use an illustration as fact. Illustration is painting a picture that is that likens to what it will feel like. Now, Luke 16, 24. Read it again. And he cried and said. And he cried and said. Father Abraham. Father Abraham. Have mercy on me. Stop. Have mercy on me. Sir. And what then? Send Lazarus. Send Lazarus. That he may dip the tip of his finger. That he will dip the tip of his finger. In water. Stop. So, tossing is testy. Tossing is testy. Sir. So, she's saying. I am Father Abraham, yeah? Because I have the beards. So, she said, Father Abraham, I should give Lazarus water on the tip. Put one finger out. On the tip, one drop of water. On the tip of his finger. To put in the mouth of the rich man. Please hear me. When you read the Bible, you will know those who are catching revelation and those who are reading like Shakespeare. So, can, if you can zoom in a bit, please. I want you to find a drop of water on this finger. Can you find it? Can you see it? But there is a drop here. Can you see the drop? Now, this tiny little thing that you cannot see is what she's asking. Come here. Sit down. Sit down, sit down. Sit down normally. Sit down. So she's asking that to quench her thirst. Zoom out a bit, thank you. To quench her thirst, this little drop of water that is there hanging that we cannot see, to enter her mouth, and to quench the test. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. And goes, it's an I illustration because it's a parable. Now, you will see why I say that people, there are two types of people that read the Bible. Those that read it religiously and theologically and those that don't. Please, and I want this part to be cut and put online so people can learn. Now, watch this. You see the drop of water is there, right? Yes, so, the rich one was asking Ab Father Abraham to tell Lazarus to dip his hands of water and get this little drop to put into the mouth so the mouth can be quenched. Read, read on the same Luke 19, 24, part B. And cool my tongue. And cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame. I am tormented in this flame. flame. The fire, see, listen. There is no flame without what? And there is no fire without what? Flame. So, when you see flame, there must be fire somewhere. Yes, the fire this man was talking about was not hell. Mm. He was talking about a desire to quench a test that his earthly riches could quench. Wow. I don't think you hear me. Sir. Look at what... I, Bible, Abi. Luke nineteen twenty five. That's my answer. Read it. But Abraham said. Abraham said, a man is asking you for water to cool his tongue. Mm. Abraham saying something else. Abraham said, in your lifetime, in your lifetime, in your lifetime, Abraham, to the rich man, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus in his lifetime received evil things. Sir. But now he is comforted. It was the comfort Lazarus was enjoying the man wanted. Mm. So because he didn't have that comfort, he was in flame. The fire, the fire, the, the passion to have that Sir. was consuming him. Wow. It's not literal fire. Mm. The, the, the question and the answer did not make sense, logically. Mm. Someone said, give me one drop. They said, let's not listen. In your lifetime, what has lifetime got to do with hell if it was fire? If it was fire, if it was fire, literal fire burning the man, Abraham, it's like, you're seeing someone burning. Are you listening to me? And then, you are telling the person, wait, 
Remember three years ago, you were driving your Rolls Royce. Bomb. Go and use the water from three years ago to, three years ago to quench this fire. Doesn't make sense. The answer is always the, 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 the response is always the answer to the caller. Yes, but Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received all the good things. Mm. See, there are some things you should not enjoy in this life, oh, yes, because it, it, you will be deprived of it in the afterlife. Wow. Do, you know, do you want to know the things you should not enjoy in this lifetime? The things you should give to the poor. Mm. Don't eat what you should give to the poor. It will speak against you in your afterlife. Mm. Don't keep what you should give out to the needy. It will speak against you. Because those things, when you give to the poor and the needy, you are giving to Jesus. I was naked, he clothed me. I was hungry, he fed me. Sir. I was homeless, put a roof over my head. Those things you should not keep. Mm. They will speak against you in your afterlife. Sir. Look at Abraham's response. Luke 19, 25. So Sir. please, when, before we read by before people post things, that's why I tell the boy, mm -mm, I'm not confused. I said, apostle said too. If you have more Bible reference, bring them. Let us go. Don't take one verse and speak. Please, ministers, never speak the word based on one verse. Read the whole context. Mm. Did you realize that Luke 15 was a whole parable? No. Parable of the lost sheep. Parable of the lost coin. Come here. God bless you. Amen. You're lifted in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Ladies, God bless you. Are you listening? Parable. He was preaching the parables and illustration. He says, now the kingdom of God is liking to... Ah, that's the parable. So look, now let us read Luke 19, 24 and 25 together. I'll read it myself, yeah? But just stay, 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 stay tuned. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus. Yes, that he may what? Dip the tip of his finger. Is it that tip of water that will quench hellfire? No, sir. If he was in hell, if, if, if well, there was fire in that hell, he wouldn't ask for the tip of water. He would ask for the whole drum. Guess what? It will, it will go beyond asking for a drum. It will say, please bring me out of here. Sir. Are you, you are in hellfire. Hellfire. And you're asking for a tip of water. No! You will ask for you to be removed. Mm. Oh. Now, you will see the conversation to, for you to not decode the conundrum here. Luke 16, 24. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Abraham and send Lazarus, I beg your pardon, that he may dip his tip the tip of his finger in the water and cool my tongue for I am what? Tormented in this flame. Tormented in this flame. Meaning it's a desire. Mm. He was tormented in, his, in a desire. What he was used to in his lifetime. Listen to me. In the realms of the spirit, what you say is not what the spirit sees. The spirit sees, it searches the heart. So the heart of the man was desiring the comfort of his life before. Mm. Now go to verse 25. Luke 16, 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in your lifetime, what has that got to do with what I was saying? Mm. In your lifetime, you had all the good things. Lazarus in his lifetime had all the evil things. But now he is comforted and now you are what? Tormented. Look at verse 26. To further break this down and, and get deeper into the illustration. And beside all this, between you and us, is a what? A great gulf fixed. That what? So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Neither can they pass to us. That would come from thence. Do you know what fire is? The fire is not between heaven and hell. There is a, in, in the realms of the spirit, there is heaven, there is hell. There is a big siege. Sir. The fire is not there. Hell is a bottomless dark pit filled with torment. Guess what? In hell, people are tormented by what was their carnal desires on earth. Wow. Let me tell you what it means. Sit down. Sir. So if you are a drunk, if you are a drunk in your lifetime, you wake up in the morning <laughs> and you die by drink accident, alcohol accident, <laughs> overdose. When you end up in hell, in that dark pit, the demon of alcohol will be tormenting you. It's not fire. So, the flame of the desire to come out of that torment is what the man was talking about. The tip of the finger was not representing, was not talking about literal water, but it was talking about, comfort me, please. Sir. I am in discomfort. Are you listening? Sir. It wasn't talking about literal water. It's parable. It was talking about, comfort me like Lazarus. I see him comforted on your lap. Bosom means lap. So, the man wanted the same comfort. Hell 
He said, you will not end up in hell. Amen. Nobody will end up in hell. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen.